welcome to hashtag time for art collaboration art collaboration so um, this is going to be a pre-process video and I'm going to do a little flip through of a fairy a fairy journal that I've already started because I for the collaboration I am going to be creating a fairy house garden so let's I'll explain more about the collaboration um, as we go but first um, uh, shout out to Katrina Coltes um, it was the through her online art class that I st started creating this uh, um, fairy journal and we learned how to do the cover like this and I will link I will link her website down below so okay so now on this spread uh, different forest fairies apparently there's different categories of fairies so these are forest fairies just ones that um, came from my imagination and or I maybe did maybe I did a search and tried to get uh, inspiration for ideas for forest fairies this is cute with his mushroom cap hat I love her leaf skirt and somebody's living inside here, this mushroom. And this is a watercolor paper journal. The, the, the paper is quite heavy. It's um, very good for watercolor or water medium or any kind of mixed medium. And more forest fairies. Oh, uh, that's cute. The ladybug with the mushroom, the ladybug body with a mushroom cap, hat. Uh, a portrait of a fairy. This is all mostly watercolor, maybe a little bit of mixed media. Um, another forest fairy, or this she could be a flower fairy because her flowers are, are all in her hair. And the bird is on her shoulder telling her, telling her a secret. And I did use stencils here, and I use stencils here. I love stencils. I have quite a big, I have quite a big stencil collection. Okay, this one, um, it would be Christmas time inside the fairy's house. Another Christmas scene inside the fairy's house. Uh, that one I'm gonna probably have to paint over. That's not related to my fairy journal. This one is a scene outside of the fairy's house. A nighttime scene. I love how that glitters, it's sparkly. And there's a sheen on here because I used, I can't remember what it's called. Okay, they're water, they're water salt, they have mica in them and they're water soluble and the mica creates a sheen. Okay, here's my fairy art mother, and I'm going to tell you more about the significance of my fairy art mother later. And this is mixed media with book print face and stenciled birds, stenciled and cut them out. And now I'm ready to start for, for this, for my part of the collaboration. We can do more houses we can do more rooms in the house everybody chose any kind of house that they wanted to um, use for the I mean create for the collaboration like one person is doing a Victorian house another person a haunted house their beach house and then you pick a room in the house to depict in your book it could be an art journal or any other kind of book that you want to use and I'm using part of my art journal and I the um, everybody had to choose a a house and then a room in the house and I chose and it could be outdoor space too so I chose fairy house garden so I've already I drew it and then I inked it up with um, fine tip permanent marker very fine tip and then this is a pre-process video where I'm going to show um, me doing the watercolor of it and the watercolor painting of it and then during the during the night of the during the day of the hop, because we do a live stream hop, 
on the second Friday of every month, but this is our September theme. On the second Friday of this month in September will be the live stream hop. We do morning hops and afternoon and evening hops. And um, that's when I'm going to add the interactive components because along with, okay, each, each um, page has to have th three or more interactive components like a door that opens and closes or curtains, curtains that move or like the flap. I, like I'm gonna probably do collage some collage leaves on top and then the flap will go like that will be able to move up and down you could have include pockets sliding things tabs belly bands where you tuck things in tip-ins tip-in pieces so all kinds of at least three interactive pieces in your in your artwork and then you only have to do one page for the live stream hop, but I am going to do more pages of my fairy house inside this book. Well, I'll, I'll be making post-process videos, so keep an eye out for them. I'm going to create post-process videos to continue uh, creating the, in, the interior of my fairy house. So now, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to start doing the watercolor painting now. So now I've uh, begun uh, painting the fairy house with the fairy garden and I am using a watercolor paint that's uh, Japanese. I think it's Kurostaki. I think that's the name of it, Kurostaki watercolor paint. And I don't think they are strictly, I don't think it's like pure watercolor paint. I think it tends to be on the gouache side. It tends to be a kind of... Um, a little bit opaque, more opaque than than pure watercolor paint. That's what I've been told, and I and I can see that that it kind of does not behave like pure watercolor paint. But I, I'm no expert. I'm just not an expert on watercolor paint. But that's just um, what I've come to understand by different people that I've talked to about this kind of watercolor paint that I'm using. So um, I mostly do, well, when I first start, I am doing, I do the sky wet on wet. I, that means you, with a clean brush and clean water, you wet it and that, and uh, watercolor paint goes wherever the water is. So when you, and then when you paint now in between all those vines and leaves and everything, I paint dry on, I mean, I paint dry, I mean, I paint wet on, wet on dry because then you have more control of where the paint goes so I just wanted to give you a, a little rundown on a little bit of my process before I tell you because I would like to share with you my plans for this fairy journal that go along the same lines as time for art art collaboration so my plans are for to do several rooms in the house, like have a page or even a spread, one or two pages devoted to different rooms of the fairy house. And the who lives in this fairy house is my fairy art mother. And she represents the encouraging, nurturing, supporting part of me who part of me who supports and encourages and nurtures my creativity my my set my inner artist then there's the mean queen the mean queen is like your inner critic so the mean queen I call her my mean queen and she's that part of me that's the inner critic who who is is very critical and is actually well-meaning the inner critic is actually a well-meaning part of yourself that tells you these like negative things because the the mean queen slash inner critic does not like to see you take risks they want to keep you safe that part of you wants to keep you safe so i i in the past have pretty much had the mean queen run the show run you know i listen too much to my negative thoughts and more recently 
since I've been doing this book, it's a 12 week journey, um, the artist's way, I have come to see that I do not want the mean queen to, mean queen to run the show anymore. I want the, my fairy art mother to run the show. So that's who lives in this fairy house. And each room in the house, which I'm going to do later after the live stream hop. So during the live stream hop, I'm actually going to add the interactive elements to this to this um, fairy house and garden. But then po I'm going to make post process videos, which will be added to this playlist. So please um, keep a heads up and and I hope you will watch them. That my post process videos after the live stream hop will. Uh, uh, be creations of different some of the different houses in the fairy house okay they're going to represent different things so for example the fairy the kitchen inside this fairy house is going to be a place of food for thought where there's going to be positive interactive things with little quotes uh, positive quotes for inspiration and encouragement then the bathroom in this fairy house is going to be a place for washing away negative thoughts. And then the bedroom is going to be a place for creative dreaming, a place for ideas for creative dreaming and ideas for future artistic projects. And the living room will be a place for displaying Dis displaying artistic and creative, uh, I mean, displaying artistic creations and maybe writing down achievements and or different things that uh, I've achieved creatively in the living room, a place for display. So that's a rundown about what I have planned for this fairy, this unique fairy art journal. And so I hope you enjoy watching the rest of this. If you have questions, please, uh, please do not hesitate to ask questions down below in the comments. I answer and respond to every single one of my comments. And uh, okay, I'm trying to see if there'd be anything else I want to add about my artist, my um, art, my painting process. I'm no expert on watercolor painting. So, okay, so I think that's about it, and I'm going to set the rest to music, and I hope you enjoy watching and listening.